Welcome back to Mac Music Review. This looks terrible. This light that's just shining in the left hand side of the screen. It's left for me. It might it looks right for you. But it looks terrible. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about an album. Before we do, just want to say it's gonna be some stuff down in the description. If you want to know how the channel works, all that good stuff down in the description. Today we're gonna to be looking at the album The Soft Parade by the Doors. The Soft Parade is the fourth Doors album released after Waiting for the Sun and before Morrison Hotel. This album is, um, it's known as the worst Doors album. That's its reputation. That's literally the reputation this album has is known as the weakest Doors album. And it's criticized for being kind of softer, fittingly, the, you know, it's called the Soft Parade. And it's much softer, it's less intense, it's less scary, it's less has much less of an edge to it, both in the vocals, the lyrics, and the singing, than their other albums. A lot less dark, a lot less, kind of, I don't know. It's it's a more light-sounding record. It's a more, it's, it's a less serious, less um, moody record, I guess you could say. This, this album has nine songs. It's only 33 minutes long. That's about the norm for The Doors, is to, you know, have these really short albums, not to... Even, you know, not depending on how many songs it has. Anyway, this album actually has a very long song called The Soft Parade. The title track, I think it's like almost nine minutes long. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. But it is a long song. It's one of The Doors' iconic long songs. They're known for doing that, for making these really, really long songs. Like I already said, this album is a lot less dark and scary than their other albums. It's a lot less, you know, doesn't have those really disturbing moments. It doesn't have some really a dark, a really dark, unsettling vibe. There may be glimpses of it here and there, but mostly this is a pretty light, upbeat record. Songs like Tell All the People almost sound like, with the lyrics, sound like it could be a Beatles song. Tell all the people and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of these light, kind of airy lyrics. Um, other songs like, uh, you know, the other songs. I apologize. I didn't, I didn't like re-listen to this album before I did this review because, because I didn't do it. And, um, for that reason, I'm not very educated on this. I just know my score for this album, what I think of it. Anyway, um, lyrics on this album, of course you're gonna have your your sexual lyrics, you're gonna have your love songs on this album, like on, like, I guess, Touch Me and maybe Do It, I don't exactly remember, but, yeah. Oh, I, what I do want to talk about before we get into the review section is the super long song. The long song is, of course, the title track. This song is really, really long, and it changes throughout the song. It opens, it's a mix of poetry and rock music, and at one point, it, it feels like at one point, it's like poetry, and it transitions, yell, yelled poetry, transitions to this other moment, and then transitions into another moment, where, it, and the, the lyrics have imagery like chocolate candy, and it says gobstoppers, and stuff like that, and it, it feels like you just went into Willy, Wonka, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, you feel like you're in a scene of the movie, and it transitions again to this other part, and it's very upbeat, the music is very interesting, and, and that's just a, that's the biggest standout song on this album, and I just wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Um, people say The Soft Parade is the worst Doors album, that is the reputation it holds by most critics and people. Even so, um, even though that's its reputation, I would say this is one of my favorite Doors records. And I'm gonna try to explain why. The best word to describe this album is enjoyable. These songs, both the lyrics and the music, and the way they're even sung, is much less dark, much less menacing, much less brooding than on the other albums. And it just feels good. This is an enjoyable album. This is an album that is fun to listen to. As most especially true of Tell All the People, the first song and the last song of The Soft Parade. The last song is a ton of fun. Easily my favorite song on this album. So many cool transitions in this song. So much cool music. Good, fun lyrics. And I would say most of this album is just fun. It just, the music actually sounds pretty good for a throughout most of this record, and it just is, it just sounds enjoyable, it's just an enjoy, it's just enjoyable, fun, light music that you can really, um, I don't want to say enjoy, but I'm going to say you can really enjoy. 
If I had to have one complaint about this record, um, I'll have two complaints about this record. One, the vocals. I would say vocally this album is not as great as the other uh, Doors album. Van Morrison's voice works in a dark context. It works when the lyrics are kind of mysterious to convey like mystery or darkness or brooding. And that's really where his voice really shines or really aggressive energy. There's no aggressive energy on this album at all. It's completely non-existent. And with that, the energetic, aggressive vocals are not on this album. And for that reason, it's less distinctive, less memorable, less striking than literally all the other Doors albums. The other problem I have with this album is lyrically, it's not the best thing ever. Some of the lyrics are, I would say some of the lyrics on this thing are actually pretty good. Some of the lyrics are really forgettable, forgettable and meh. And, and that's, those are my two biggest complaints for this album, but lyrically, it's not terrible. Vocally, it's not terrible. It's just not, it's vocally, it's still a good album. It's just not as memorable or striking or original as the other Doors albums. All in all, The Soft Parade is a really enjoyable album with tons of really enjoyable music and lyrics. And really, I shouldn't say that. I should say enjoyable songs. Most of these songs really stand out. They're really fun. And it's just just fun to listen to. Just good to listen to. I'm going to give this album a 3.75 out of 5. We did it. We finally did it. It took forever. Actually, it, it did not take forever. I did it pretty quick. It just feels like it took forever because, because I, I don't do more than one video per day. So it just ugh, felt like forever. But we got through um, the five Doors albums that I've reviewed. We didn't do La America or LA Women. It's called LA Women. That's the name of the album. Their last album, I didn't review it because I thought the album cover looked ugly. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.